What is up, heroes? Jake Parker here, and it is time to provide you with an easy-to-follow beginner's guide to playing and mastering the Life Weaver support character in Overwatch 2 as of Season 5, June 2023. Whether you're a brand new player looking for how to play Life Weaver or an experienced player looking to expand your hero selection pool, this video will provide you with a complete in-depth analysis of Life Weaver from the inside out and how to maximize your success during play. We're going to break down Life Weaver into every possible detail about every ability in a way that you've probably never heard or seen before. Every important stat that you need to know, map positioning ideas, best hero tips, and of course some things to keep in mind. If there's anything that I may have missed in this video, please be sure to comment. I'd love to hear your feedback on this video in the comments below. And if you enjoy this video and look forward to more Overwatch guides and content, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to know when my next video will be live. All right, heroes, let's get started. Life Weaver is the newest support hero introduced to Overwatch 2 at the start of Season 4. Unlike other support heroes that focus very much on supporting teammates pushing into a fight, Life Weaver's skill set can actually be seen as an emergency exit when things get a little bit shaky. It is a bit of a breakaway from other support playstyles, but make no mistake that a seasoned Life Weaver player will shape the difference between a win or a loss. Life Weaver also supports the traditional support passive, which will see him automatically begin healing back up to 200 health when no damage has been taken. The Healing Blossom is Life Weaver's default healing skill that targets a single teammate for healing. Holding the skill will charge the Healing Blossom and then see a meter begin filling on the screen. Then, releasing the skill will see the Blossom travel to and heal your intended target. The current maximum healing provided by a fully charged Blossom is 75 health, which is up from 65 in the last season. Life Weaver also has 20 total charges before he has to reload. The Healing Blossom also travels very quickly and homes in on its target with a moderately high range of effect, so healing during high-intensity battles while maintaining a very safe distance is absolutely a possibility. A fully charged Blossom takes approximately one full second to charge, and there's almost no cooldown between releasing and building up another charge, so Life Weaver can be an incredible asset if you're someone focused on healing over damage mitigation. There are a few notes for Life Weaver's Blossom. It cannot directly heal through walls or obstacles, and you need to maintain a somewhat clear line of sight for healing to be able to travel. Second, the reload animation for Healing Blossom does take roughly about a second and a half before allowing you to heal again, so during that time, you will not be available to provide healing to any allies. Something pretty cool, though, is if you're using Life Weaver's Thorn Volley DPS, which we're going to talk about in just a second, Life Weaver will actually automatically reload his Healing Blossom after two and a half seconds for you to swap back to healing and immediately assist your teammates. Thorn Volley is Life Weaver's DPS attack where we see Thorn projectiles rapidly appear from Life Weaver's hand in sets of two and travel towards its target with pretty moderate speed. Each Thorn does 6 damage, which is up from 5 in the last season, and a total ammo of 70, which is up from 60 in the last season. The Thorn Volley can also provide critical damage on headshots, so you do get that multiplier. This means that Life Weaver can currently deal as much as 420 base damage or more in one Thorn Volley, which is more than enough to take out every enemy DPS player in the game, and that's even if some of the Thorns miss. At the moment, a full Thorn Volley takes approximately 3 seconds to release all 70 Thorns and has roughly about a 1.5 second time to reload. There is a huge thing to note when it comes to the Thorn Volley attack. This is a projectile based attack, not hit scan. This means that if you're intending on doing damage with Life Weaver's Thorn Volley, you need to keep distance in mind as damage is actually not calculated until the Thorns actually travel and connect with the enemy player. Unlike hit scan, which kind of acts like a laser where damage is immediately calculated and isn't actually taken with external factors. The 
The Pedal Platform is an extremely powerful new ability unique to Life Weaver that sees him throw his ability to the ground, which spawns a semi-large flower petal. Stepping on this platform will see it trigger and ascend into the air. This can be extremely powerful for allies to gain new lines of sight against an enemy, or it can be used against the enemy to remove them from an unsafe situation and give yourself or allies time to recover. When it's not stepped on, the pedal will remain on the ground indefinitely until the ability is triggered again to place a new pedal, or if the ability is activated during its cooldown to destroy it. The platform currently has a cooldown of 12 seconds before being able to place another one. The platform also has what's called an activation radius, which is where you stand on the platform in order for it to activate. This radius is currently 0.75 meters, meaning that you pretty much need to stand near the center of the platform in order for it to activate. Once the pedal rises into the air, the walkable area is pretty much the entire platform, which gives you a huge advantage when you're overlooking enemies or allies. Once it's activated, the platform will begin remaining active for roughly about 10 seconds, and then you're going to hear chiming sounds grow faster and faster until the platform itself dissipates at the 10 second mark. If you stepped on the platform immediately after it was placed, this would give you about two seconds until another platform becomes available. Otherwise, you're pretty much free to place another one down as soon as that one dissipates. Life Weaver's Rejuvenating Dash ability is a quick movement ability that is able to be activated once Life Weaver jumps up in the air. This is a shared ability that you can also see with other characters in the game. Activating this ability will cause Life Weaver to do an aerial dash in the direction you are holding, not the direction that you're facing. This is also an omnidirectional ability, meaning that not only can you dash front, back, left, or right, but you can also dash in diagonal directions as well while facing any direction that you want. During your dash, Life Weaver also heals for 25 damage, and as long as you didn't take any recent damage, you will likely begin self-healing immediately after the dash is over. It does carry a current 5 second cooldown before it can be activated again though. Life Grip is probably the most unique ability in all of Overwatch 2 to date. When activated, Life Weaver sends out an extremely fast flower vine that attaches to an ally player, encasing them in a protective bubble, and drawing them back to Life Weaver's exact location. As this happens, the targeted ally is immediately healed for 50 health as they're being drawn back, and that protective bubble prevents them from taking damage. A great thing to know is that this skill is also not limited to just horizontal use. As long as an ally is within range, Life Weaver can activate this ability to pull the ally vertical as well, such as on a pedal platform or an elevated map location. The current cooldown is 16 seconds from the moment the initial skill is activated, not when the skill is finished. Tree of Life is Life Weaver's extremely powerful ultimate ability, which when placed will spawn a massive light-based energy tree that sprouts from the ground, pulses with healing waves, and blocks enemy line of sight. The duration of the ultimate itself lasts for 15 seconds, and when it's placed down, instantly grants 150 health to yourself and any allies that are going to be in the area of effect. During the ultimate, there are eight healing pulses, and each one is going to grant you 75 health to players, and roughly about one and a half to 1.7 seconds between pulses. And lastly, the tree itself has 1200 health, so it takes a lot before it goes down or the cooldown expires. Life Weaver as a support is best played from a mid-far distance as his abilities actually have a pretty decent range of effect. Not only this, but his pedal platform also allows him to position himself much more vertically than other supports, which is great to avoid ground-based DPS enemies or engagements as a whole. When cooldowns are balanced and utilized, this allows Life Weaver to pretty much provide much more safe healing without worrying of enemy flanks from behind or any engagement for that matter. Keeping distance to provide healing is highly recommended unless you need to assist with capturing a zone in an emergency situation. 
When escorting a payload, position yourself near the payload the best you can for progress while also maintaining line of sight for healing your allies in the event that they decide to push forward. Another great piece of positioning if you do need to stay on the ground is I highly recommend using those walls and covers to your advantage. With only 200 health, it can get a little bit dicey if you end up in a very bad situation, so positioning yourself away from enemies the best you can while keeping those line of sight with your people is going to basically be the best thing you're going to need for that moment. There are a few great tips for maximizing your mastery of Life Weaver that I would love to share with you. My first tip is to take advantage of doorways, corners, and walls. Because of Life Weaver's one second cooldown between heals, this allows you to use cover to properly shield yourself from enemy fire while peeking slightly to provide heals to any ally. If an enemy sees you or attempts to engage you, you can quickly place down a pedal platform directly between you and the enemy, either for you to stand on to raise yourself in the air and provide a quick escape option, or you can force the enemy into the air so you can dash out to your teammates and recover. This kind of ties very well into the map positioning, but this is again just a great tip to continue to reiterate. My second tip actually involves the reticle that you're going to be using in the game. I highly recommend the circle reticle as a recommendation for Life Weaver if you intend on using Thorn Volley as DPS more often. Because the spread of Thorn Volley increases the further that it travels, using the Circle Reticle greatly increases your ability to aim your crosshair in the direction of enemy movement or on the enemy directly for maximum damage opportunity. I've tried using crosshairs, but unfortunately, since the projectiles from the Thorn Volley are slightly slower than other DPS players, it became much more inconsistent to actually make connections, so a Circle Reticle really just worked out better in that resort. My third tip, use life grip very sparingly with good communication from teammates, but as a last resort if it's absolutely needed. Although it's intended to be a good thing, it is possible that you may be pulling a DPS or tank player away from a winnable engagement, thus causing a possible reset of progress. Communicate your intentions with your team, or if you're not using comms, read your teammates and see if they need an absolute life grip recovery. You don't want to end up harming your team even though your intentions are good. My last beginner's tip here is your Tree of Life Ultimate. Life Weaver has a huge advantage for your team as you can actually place your ultimate on a moving payload or directly in the center of a control point. This allows you and your team to better position yourself for progress in your objectives while also keeping sustained healing. However, be sure not to neglect your healing while Tree of Life is active. You and your allies do still take damage even when the tree is healing you, and yes, you can still be eliminated in your tree's aura. And there it is, everybody, your beginner's guide to mastering Life Weaver in Overwatch 2. Because this is a beginner's guide, I did not touch on some of the more advanced topics or Overwatch League level utilizing that you would with Life Weaver. I wanted to make sure this video was easy to follow, easy to digest for those players who are new or looking to brush up on your skills. Obviously, things may also change in the future, and if anything does, then I'll be sure to update you in another video. But please, of course, leave a comment down below on what you like. If you enjoyed this video and look forward to more Overwatch content and guides, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to know when my next video will be live. Thank you for being the reason I get to do what I do, and until the next video, game on.